What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're looking at exercises to help strengthen your groin muscles, which are also called your hip adductors. They're the muscles on the inside of your thigh. And this is where people typically have groin strains when they injure that muscle group. So the exercises are going to be used if you have pain in that area or you've had an injury like a strain to the muscle group. They can also just be used if you don't have an injury and you just wanna strengthen these muscles to help prevent or reduce the odds of having a groin strain. So if that's of interest to you, please check out today's video. Okay, so when we start strengthening the groin muscles, we're gonna look at three exercises and they're going to progress from less challenging to more challenging. So if you've got more pain or you've got an acute injury, you might start with just this first exercise and that might be the only one you do. So you just have to really base this on your symptoms and how your body responds. For all of these exercises, you're gonna go for three sets of around 10 to 15 repetitions. Basically, you want to go to your tired or you get pain. If pain comes on, then that's your stopping point. And you just try to progress over time. So for this first exercise, it's called side lying hip adduction. Again, it's going to be the easiest one, the least amount of force on the muscles, the best place to start if you've got more pain. So you're going to lay on your side. You want to lay on the side of the injured side. So I'm going to lay on my left side and work my uh, left groin muscles. So you want to lay down. And the leg that you're working is going to be out straight. You're going to take the top leg and put it over the top to kind of clear it out of the way. And then what we're going to do is lift that bottom leg up off the ground into hip adduction. So as you do this, it's making the groin muscles contract both concentrically on the way up and eccentrically on the way down. So it's going to strengthen them. And oftentimes this is pretty challenging. It's a movement and a muscle group people often don't strengthen. So even just this lifting the leg weight version can be pretty challenging for people. So again, three sets of around 10 to 15 repetitions. If this is way too easy or you don't feel, you know, you don't feel any fatigue, it doesn't hurt at all, then you can add an ankle weight to this as an easy way to progress it. Okay, so that's the first one, hip sideline adduction. For our second exercise, we're gonna be doing a slider lateral lunge. So I'm gonna use this core slider I'll put a link in the description for this if you need to get some of these. There's even just furniture sliders that were out there that work for this, but it's got a smooth surface that allows you to slide on the ground and reduce friction. It's a great one for groin strengthening, groin rehab. So I'm gonna put this on the ground. Again, my left side is the injured side. So I'm gonna start this exercise with my left leg on the slider. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my toes on the slider. I'm gonna slide out, most of my weight's gonna be on the uninjured side for right now, and I'm gonna slide out, and then when I go to bring the leg back in, I'm gonna push into the ground with my injured side to bring that slider back up. So the whole time I'm thinking about splitting my weight, and in the beginning you may have more weight on your uninjured side so that you don't hurt the other side too much, and then as rehab goes along, you can put more weight into this leg, but essentially, as this leg slides out, almost like it's going into the splits, it's gonna kind of stretch and strengthen the groin muscles on this left leg. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure you do this on both sides because there's benefit to sliding this leg and there's also benefit to the injured side doing this sort of squat, this single leg squat. Our groin muscles, adductor magnus, the adductor magnus muscle in particular, also helps with hip extension which is the movement that we do in squats and in lunges. So even just doing lunges and squats can help rehab your groin muscles and help strengthen them. Okay, so that's our second exercise, a slider lateral lunge. Our last exercise is called the Copenhagen adductor raise. This one's had quite a bit of research on it recently and can be really useful in terms of strengthening the groin. And in people who have had groin strains, it can help reduce the likelihood they have another one. So this is the exercise basically you want to build up to as you go through your rehab process. We're going to show, I'm going to show two variations of it depending on your current strength level. We'll do the easier one first and then the harder one. So what you're going to do, if I'm working my left leg, that's the injured side, that leg is going to be up on the bench here. 
Okay, sometimes at home you can even use a chair if it's got enough space underneath it from the floor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay on my right side and I'm gonna put my left leg up on the bench with my knee sort of bent, okay? So this is the easier version. It's basically that I'm gonna change the length of my leg, the length of that lever arm to make it easier or harder. So what's gonna happen is my bottom leg is gonna go out straight and I'm gonna lift it off the ground and then I'm gonna push down with my top leg, which will cause these groin muscles to work to lift my body. So it's basically sort of like an adductor plank, like a groin plank. I'm pushing down into the bench to activate my groin muscles and lift my body. Okay, so that might be confusing to sort of understand, but you can really feel it when you do the exercise. I'm really using the groin muscles on my top leg to lift my body up and down. Okay? So that's the easier version, shorter lever arm. To make it harder, all I'm going to do is slide out and have a longer lever arm. So now just my foot is on. Again, lift the bottom leg and then push and lift. So you kind of just see which one you feel like works better for you. In some ways, I actually like the shorter lever arm version because I feel like I can really squeeze my groin muscles a little bit better. This one definitely is harder though. So it's kind of nice to experiment with both. Again though, for a lot of people, this one hurts too much or it hurts the inside of their knee. If that's the case, go to the shorter lever arm version, okay? So those are our three exercises. Uh, there's others out there you could choose, but these are three of the best that I like to use with patients. You've got the sideline hip adduction, then you've got the slider lateral lunge, and last, the Copenhagen adductor plank. So give those a try. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. All right, you guys, see you next time. Bye.